Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I was thinking that this morning we can do Mickey Mouse waffles. So if you don't know, my brother loves Mickey Mouse and I just happened to find that at Dollar General for 10 bucks and I was gonna get the little mini waffle maker from Amazon. I think it's like 10 or 12 bucks. It's like the same exact size, it's just a little bit smaller. Yeah, so I got that thinking of him and he loves them and I figured I'd share them with you guys. Sorry. Roxy's in the back just making all these noises with her little paws. Let's just jump right into this video. So first we're going to start off by making the mix and I have Bisquick which is the best pancake mix ever. Let's just start putting that together first and I'm already preheating the little um, Mickey Mouse waffle maker. Oh, I think it's so adorable and it cooks so fast. So we'll let that heat up and then we'll make the mix. I like to get the consistency about like that. I don't know how to even describe that, but it's not too runny, it's not too thick. Okay, so next what you want to do is grab our butter spray and spray it. Give you guys a better angle. So now we're just going to pour it straight in and watch it cook. And that's literally it. So easy. And even if the batter gets around the sides, it won't mess up anything. And I just like to take the whisk and make it perfect because that's just how I try to present this to my brother. Because <laughs> he really enjoys it. So you see how it's obviously cooking pretty quickly. I'm just going to throw some cinnamon over the top. And I like mine with a lot of cinnamon. I could have just put it straight in to the batter, but I like it like this. Close it up, and then there's this little Mickey Mouse light right here. It'll turn red, that's when it's done. Okay, well, it turned red right now. I meant to say <laughs> it's gonna be red while it's cooking, and then the light will go off. That's how you know it's done. One of the things that I did notice is that if you like harder waffles, you have to leave it in longer, like do it a second time. I'll make one of those just so you see how it looks. So the way that the timer is already on the waffle maker is that it'll just... It'll look like a waffle and have like a slight crunchiness of a waffle, but it tastes more like a pancake to me. I hate feeling like... I'm getting the sniffles and stuff like the other day it was like 77 degrees but it was super humid so it felt hotter than that and I was sweating just being outside like literally just stepping outside sweating and then yesterday it was 50 degrees freezing and raining and then today I don't even know what the weather's supposed to be like but I'm working all day anyway so it doesn't really matter okay so as you can see it's already lifting up and the light did go off Obviously. So I just take a rag and I wipe off the extra cinnamon and stuff. And you don't have to do cinnamon, you can do obviously anything you want, chocolate chip, um, blueberry. I like to put blueberries like on top and like sprinkle either strawberries, blueberries, anything. Um, so I'm just taking off the edges right now so it can look more like a Mickey Mouse. We have a Mickey Mouse waffle. So while it's still um, hot, <clears throat> I'm so tired, like it doesn't even look like I'm tired, but I'm super tired, like I can't even talk, or I keep losing my train of thought, like. So put the butter straight on, obviously while it's still hot, I promise, it's like my favorite thing, especially with the syrup, I'm pretty sure I told you guys that story last time. So this is what the cinnamon Mickey Mouse waffles look like, we're just gonna put some syrup on it. Yum. And if I had fruit, I would just top it off with some type of fruit, but sadly I don't. I actually made these really, really cute waffles for my brother the other day. Ooh, do you see what I mean? I can't talk. Oh my god. I made some pancakes. 
I made some cinnamon waffles for my brother and I put whipped cream on top with um, blueberries sprinkled on it, a little bit of cinnamon on top of the whipped cream, and um, of course butter, syrup, what else did I put? And I topped it off with a cherry. I'll insert a picture right here. It's super cute. So let's try it. I mean, I know what it tastes like, but just for the purpose of this video. It's amazing. Now while I'm eating this, I'm gonna make another waffle and show you how when I leave it in longer, it gets more crispier. Mmm, and the butter just melts into the waffle. So good. If you've ever had Texas Roadhouse, the cinnamon butter that they do, that they put with the whip, that they bring with the biscuits, it's so similar to that when you put the butter on top of the cinnamon waffle. Oh my god, it's so good. Please try this. It's so good. This is what it looks like. You can obviously see in the color. It is more darker. It is a lot crispier. Not soft. It's so pretty. Well, guys, that's it for this quick and easy video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will come back with some more videos. Give me one time, one time, baby girl. Give me one time, one time, make a, make a